Well, hi again, boys and girls. Here we are underneath the car. Um, we've um, we've kind of loosened some of the bolts here, and so I'm just going to remove a little bit so we can have a look underneath for these aero shields. So we're just going to lay this back here so that you can come in and have a look. And you can see that from a uh, structural standpoint, this is a little overdone. Um, there's cross car beams all over the place here, which are uh, expensive. And um, I don't know exactly why all these things are here. Normally when you have a new design, a new modern design, you, you try not to do too much of this stuff. If we look back here, you can see all of the paraphernalia that was in the, uh, in the underneath that hood. Um, you can see that there's plenty of couplings, hoses, things going all over the place. And then up here, that's, our, uh, that's the HVAC system that we were looking at before. So this is, um, again, this is a brand new platform. I, I wouldn't be expecting to see this much uh, stuff going on. Usually you try and refine uh, a design and, and make it so it's much, much less complicated. Let me just hook this back up in here so we can, so it doesn't hit me in the head. So let's go over and have a look at the suspension. So if we look up in here, uh, you'll see that um, uh, it's basically um, a coil spring over a shock absorber, uh, a little stabilizer, and that's about it. This is kind of what you see on uh, Toyotas and Hondas and all the less expensive vehicles. This is uh, uh, kind of commonplace for a less expensive car. When we looked at the uh, Tesla, um, we were pretty amazed to see what we would see if we were looking at a Bentley, or sorry, not a Bentley, if we were looking at a BMW. If we look over in this direction, you can see that um, this is where the steering is all coming through <clears throat> into, the, um, into this uh, back area. We may want to switch sides so you can see inside there. So if you look inside here, you can see this is where the steering, uh, steering mechanism is and into the, um, uh, into the steering box and all that other stuff. So let's, uh, let's kind of allow move, move backward. So like all uh, European cars, um, you have what they call pass-by um, uh, shrouds. These, these shrouds help with aerodynamics and they also keep the noise down. Now let's go back here to the uh, rear suspension or the rear of the car. <clears throat> so the first thing, that, uh, first thing that we noticed was um, this has drum brakes. Now the front brakes they're, uh, they're, they're, uh, uh, they're uh, disc brakes. These ones are drums. Now, drum brakes um, have been around forever. That's what we used to have all the time in every car a long time ago. But they were replaced by disc brakes because the disc brakes would grab better. They didn't care if it was wet out. They didn't have fade. They had a lot of good advantages. Now that we've got anti-lock brake systems, there's no reason in the world why we can't go with the uh, much, much cheaper drum brakes. All right, so let's have a look at how the suspension here works. So first thing I'm going to draw your attention to is um, these are the dampers that, go, uh, that hold the uh, suspension cradle in place. So these hold the uh, cradle in place, and the cradle is just like it sounds. It's a great big giant steel thing that that basically everything else is held into. So here you can see, here's the spring right here. And um, these are called half shafts. They come out of the electric motor to drive the wheels. What I'd really like to talk about are these stampings right here, or sorry, these forgings right here. These are called semi-solid aluminum forgings. There's one here. And then if we go over here, there's another one there. Now, then, if you look down here, you'll see that we have some simple steel uh, stampings. These steel stampings are much, much cheaper than that aluminum. The reason that this has to be here is because somebody, for some reason or other, made a mistake. Um, that's why they're arced like that. That's why they have an arc. Now, if we go over here, let's look at what Tesla did. So where you saw that one steel piece, this is the, uh, this is the piece where the uh, spring sits. 
<clears throat> and then you'll see that Tesla has four simple, easy, cheap um, stamp parts that, that make their five bar link. Uh, I think that, I don't know why, normally I would expect to see something like these castings um, if I was looking at a legacy product, not a new product. Uh, again, I don't understand it. This is a brand, this is a brand new, um, this is a brand new design. I, I don't expect to see something and be expensive like that solid, semi-solid forged link here. But I, these are things that you should be able to design out. So anyway, let's look at one other thing that I found curious. This is, um, this is, this is the electric motor and it's painted. I, uh, I, nobody else I've seen has the, uh, the shell painted uh, before. I don't know why that is. <clears throat> Certainly because it's not gonna rust. Um, it could frost over. Uh, aluminum has a tendency to sometimes uh, give you uh, a frosting, but I don't, I don't quite understand it. That to me, I, I don't know what that gives you and I don't know what it does for you. But all in all, the uh, suspension here is a little bit of a surprise. I was expecting a five bar link in the front and the back. I thought that they'd have something that would compete with the Tesla because these cars are pretty much, uh, they're priced pretty much the same. And, um, <clears throat> and, and quite frankly, uh, from a performance standpoint, they, they should be able to give you the same value as what you're getting out of a Tesla. But this one doesn't go as far. It doesn't have as, uh, as, as far a range. And, um, and I, I'm kind of surprised because we don't, we're not getting that same BMW kind of look in the front end. So anyway, um, uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, we'll be doing another little video here shortly and we'll have that out as fast as we can. The thing that, the thing that, sorry, Hold on a second. I'll be right back. These are two semi-solid forgings. These forgings are, um, are what make, what the f is going on? Why is this thing blinking? I mean, I never have these kind of f issues.